YouTube, it's your boy, Sean Mitry. We are cog again, but we cog with rockets. 29 cards. Not 30. I leave that for my boy Steven. He can do it with 30 cards. But we cog with 29. And this list is batty. We have. Now, I know a lot of you might get concerned here. You might say, uh oh, um, this deck is too expensive for me. I don't know, IDP. How am I going to make this deck? How am I going to make this deck? My boy, I'm going to shout him out. And my in the video, JG also got cog, and my boy Dual Sunlock, Icy Gamers got cog, it, and my boy Steven is going for cog. So you can have three other different ways to make this deck. Um, you do not need IDP, first of all. If you say I am not a rich man, I do not own three IDP. You do not need IDP. Has IDP won us games? Yes, but other back row can also win you games as well. So this is not needed. If you have it, great. If you don't, please do not. Uh, say I don't want to make rocket because I cannot afford to dip into the selection main three times <laughs> We get it. all right um, As for needle ceiling this card is really good um, Because all your rockets trigger in the end phase and they float So you want the ability to run cards like needle ceiling to blow up your opponent's monsters as well as gain some field presence and advantage This card won me a lot of games against Goki. It's really good if you open it up against chalice and, and needle ceiling going second because you could chalice their Master Ogre and then chain Needle Ceiling and blow up their board. Bottomless is really good also because Bottomless is, uh, if you have it, it's great. If you don't, don't worry about it. It's great against Mech Knights. This card also thrives against other decks like um, Goki. You can Bottomless Suprex. So that's something you could do. It's very, very good. Warning points, another back row you can run. Uh, they summon a monster. Uh, never to set when you have needle. Yeah, that's a play as well. Most of the time. And then you have warning point when a monster is summoned. You can negate that monster's effect and they can't use it for link material. We ran two of that. Uh, you could also play a third of that if you have it. And you can play three warning points and that's also really good. Uh, Chalice is really good in this meta because it negates some. Um, it's really good against Goki. Specifically because you can negate their um, Master Ogre. Um, it's also really good against something like Photon. Because it's negate Photon Lord and you can make plays through it. Um, for the main deck we have uh, Boot Sector Launch. So BSL. Uh, Boar Launch allows you to return a card in your deck to play it on the field. We don't have Striker Dragon so this is going to be the way you get it out. And Boot Sector Launch can has two effects. First effect you can special summon up to two rockets from your hand. And defense and second effect if your opponent controls more monsters than you do you can activate the effect and special summon rockets from your grave so you can equal the amount of cards they have uh, monsters they have this is really good against mech knights because a lot of the time against mechs they're gonna have like three monsters on the board you can match them and then you can uh, make some really good plays as far as your tracers and your quick launches you want three of each uh, tracer is really good because it can uh, tracer allows you to do is allows you to pop any card in the field face up card and then special summon a rocket out of the deck so you could special summon your silver rocket magnet rocket um, metal rocket or whatever rocket you need for the current situation and then make synchro exceed plays with it really really good on top of that we run um, two about two of each of the rockets magnet rocket it they all have different effects based on on a link monster targeting them for an effect so if you have a link monster target those rockets for card effects they gain certain abilities based upon them and all of them have this little window effect in the end phase that they when they're destroyed uh by card effect or by battle they can float and that includes by your own effects and for by yourself killing it in battle except for tracer tracer doesn't float but the other ones do uh, so magna rocket when a link monster targets it you can send one monster on the field to the graveyard that is a non-targeting sound effect and it's a very good form of removal get out things like saber dancer um it get out warlord in the mirror match which is very important because it could be difficult to do um silver rocket dragon allows you to look at your opponent's extra deck when a link monster targets it and banish one of those cards this is really good against something like um 
the mirror match, it could be good to get rid of their booster dragon, their boar load, or whatever. Uh, so that's really, really good. Uh, so that's very, very useful. It's also useful in Code Talkers. You can rip out Code Talker, Deco Talker. If you rip out Deco Talker on turn one, then they can't make Code Talker alive. Uh, next, we have Metal Rocket Dragon. Metal Rocket has the effect when a Link Monster targets. You can destroy all cards in that column. So it's kind of like if you play Master Duel Infinite Impairments, how you activate Impairment, you negate everything, every uh, back row in that column. So it's kind of like Impermanence. So if you set it up in the right column, you can blow up their whole column. This can be very good against Mech Knight if they don't see it coming. Uh, so if you use this skillfully, then it can be used effectively. The last one is Shell Rocket Dragon. If a Link Monster, this is the worst one. If a Link Monster targets, you can destroy one monster in this column. So it's 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 effectively a worse version of Magnum Rocket Dragon. So I don't think it's that good. Or Metal Rocket. But it's still a name. We can float into it. It helps us grind, so we run it anyway. Uh, the nice thing about rockets, oh, also about the main rockets, is that when you float, you have to float into a rocket with a different name. So, for example, if I destroy Silver Rocket Dragon, I have to float the Metal Rocket into Ma Magna Rocket. The good names is a majority of the time, the names that you float into generally don't matter too much as long as you've got names. So, you are able to do that. So, uh, you don't have to stress about that. How tough is this deck to play? It's very big brain. Playing this deck takes a lot of skill, and I'm not kidding, because there's a lot of different lines you can make. Um, and knowing how to use the cards in order and resource management's key. That's a lot of things we saw uh, when we were climbing. Um, there were plays that we could have made that were better. Um, I, and I really want to explore this deck further. We're going to have to test it for KC Cup. So if you want to see that, make sure you are following me on twitch.tv slash Sean Matry for tournament runs and other things like that. Now, the one other card I want to talk about is Quick Launch. This special summons a rocket from the deck, but it cannot attack and destroys it during the end phase. So, if you activate Quick Launch, you summon out a rocket, and then you can activate Trace's effect, pop another card, summon another rocket. But another play you can do is, let's say you have a rocket on the field, right? You can activate Quick Launch, and then Kurt Lant Luntz, appreciate the follow you up on it. So, you can activate Quick Launch, summon out something like Magna Rocket, and say you have a silver on the field, allow Magna to die in the end phase, flip, float into Rocket Tracer, Pop the silver, and now you have three float three monsters on the field instead of two. So you've effectively plus one. So that's very, very good. Now, in the extra deck, we run one Dark Edge Dragon. Uh, the one thing you need to know about Tracer is that it locks you in the darks. Okay, so if you use Tracer's effect, you are locked in the darks. If you activate your skill, you're locked in the darks. But we can make Dark Edge Dragon. This is the level 8 Dark Synchro. Send one monster in the field to the graveyard. Very, very good. Dark Rebellion, easy way for OTK. They have 2,500 less life. You're going to OTK with this very easily. Nightmares, an outstanding turn one because we have darks. Uh, when they special summon a level, uh, special summon a monster, we can flip it face down. So if they go into their Gokis, we can flip them down and then we can slow them down effectively, having to think further about their play lines. Uh, Borlo Dragon is a fantastic card. This card uh, is requires three effect monsters to link four. Uh, it has three different effects. First, it can't be targeted by monster effects. Once returned, it has a quick effect to reduce monster on the field's attack and defense by 500. Uh, and that's permanent. It does target, so you can use it since the link monster targets the rockets and then trigger their effects as well. And then it will destroy the rockets and then you'll be able to float in the end phase. So very good. And then the third effect of War Lotus, when you attack an opponent's monster, you can non-target steal that monster, but it gets sent to the graveyard at your opponent's end phase. So really, really good. Can out anything, basically. Nightmare Unicorn, just a quick spin back in the deck. Uh, Quad Boral Dragon is really powerful. It takes two dragon monsters, but your whole deck is dragons. You can discard one card, target a, a special summon monster, and destroy it. Um, target a face-up monster, this is a special summon, and destroy it. But what's also really good about it is if you blow up a link, you can special summon any rocket monsters up to the link reigning. So if you pop, if you go like Chalice on on Master Ogre and then you summon this, you pop their Ogre and then if they don't have a Cobra on the field, and you can summon like four, three rockets from the graveyard. So it becomes like a soul charge if you haven't played TCG. Incredible. Uh, then we also have one link disciple so we don't lose the Ibley. And then Booster Dragon. So Booster Dragon's two rockets. 
Once it's returned, you target the face of monster on the field that gains 500 attack and defense, and your opponent cannot respond to this. Also, Boost Dragon has another effect. Uh, if it's destroyed by battle, you can float in any rocket from your grave. But what's really good about this is you can use this to target your rocket links and gain their effects. So, for example, if I target Magna Rocket, I can send a monster on the field to the graveyard, non target. Uh, if I target Silver Rocket, I can banish a bit, any card out of our opponent's extra deck. Really strong. And yeah, just really good in general. I'm going to show you about two replays. I will have a combo video coming out in a separate video. But I'm going to go over some replays for you guys. If you're interested, our next COD climb is going to be with Midolche. So if you want it, if you want to see that, don't forget. Make sure you're here live. Okay, this is the COG rank up. Yep, if you could also pop Dylan. Oh, also the one thing I want to bring up about the skill Please work. is during the second turn, during your third I turn, I'm ready to on duel. your third turn, duel. on your third turn, you can, um, it places Dillinger's Dragon in your graveyard. So it's a link to that during your opponent's end phase, you can uh, pop a monster in their field. But what's also really good about Dillinger's Dragon is when you special summon a rocket, it can special summon itself to the field. So you can easily play Rocket. That would be up for free. Kind of like Ultimate Dragon Force. Alright, so we summon summon Tracer, so which is going to pass. And we're just going to go for Buffer. He's going to attack Tracer. He bumped the moons, we popping. Silver Rocket Dragon. And now we just get a swing. Silver Rocket he bucks. And now he's playing Heartbeat, so this is an easy rank up for us. Goes hunting ground. Targets out. bottomless, and this. we BTH, and we win. Cog. Right? So that's simple enough. Uh, and then this one. Oh, wait, this is not it. Hold on. Ah, this is not right. Hold on, give me a second. Ignore this. You, 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 nobody sees anything. Alright, so I'm going to unlock some of these. Give me one second. And I'm going to save two that I think are really good. And I'm going to show them all. Uh, here we go. I'll save this one. And I'll save the one we had against Goki here. Alright, so let's let me show you off a few replays now. Here we go. Was this the one I just showed? Oh, this was the con rank up. My bad. Please work. What? I'm ready to duel. duel. I didn't realize they were going to say top to bottom like that. Here we go. Alright, so here we go. This is uh, a duel. There's only... Let du I think this was against Inferno. I From my hand, I activate a spell. Alright, so he excavates three. Luckily, he didn't open up good, this duel. But... He played this very hand. awkwardly. I very awkward. I, I, I decimate you from that's Magna the Rocket Dragon. So we're going to go uh, Magna Rocket. We're going to set three. And we're going to go in. I end my turn. Unfortunately, IDP is not the best against them. I'm going to Chalice here. Attack. Uh, Magna Rocket Dragon. We're going to Magna Rocket. Summon out Tracer. So like I said, we float. Rocket Dragon. Rocket Tracer. Active. Silver Rocket Dragon. Now he's summoning Silver Rocket. Silver Rocket Dragon. We're going to attack. We're going to attack. Metal Rocket. Shell and then Metal Rocket Rocket's going to summon Shell Rocket. Congrats on surviving. But you won't fail. Man. Now he goes I Void Banishment, so we can go ahead and grab his thing. Now we trick him here, because he does not read, he does not read Metal Rocket Dragon, and we trick him. So we get Dillinger's in the grave, because it's our third turn. We're going to summon Booster Dragon, we're going to pop, summon Metal, and we're going to try and trick him here. If he's not paying Enter attention, the... he's gonna get I activate. Metal Rocket was targeted. So Metal Rocket got targeted by Booster, as I told Booster you. Get the Metal Rocket effect to wipe out the column. And he wasn't paying attention, so... No. I
Adios, muchacho. We have ways to grind him out anyway, but we wanted to do that. That was going to be the most effective. And now for the final replay. And this is against what should be this is either Kotoaka or Goki. So I'm going to show you. But this one I think was really good, so I want to show this one off. Alright, you can see we have a ton of back row. Yep, he is the Goki, like I said. So we go quick launch, we top it. We're gonna go Silver Rocket, Summon Shell Rocket, set three. He has two MSPs, is why we like having this back row. Play through an MSP. Now we trigger Silver Rocket, summon out Tracer. Tracer pops our other rocket, Shell Rocket, and we end on three. I end my turn. Dark calls the field. This is why we run all this back row. Come out. Warning point is I really good. We're able to escape. We say no. Nope. So now he has no I way to follow up, and we're going to pop Magna off. Rocket, the Trigger monster. Magna Rocket, summon Rocket, Tracer. Metal Rocket, Trigger Metal Dragon. Rocket, summon. Rocket now Tracer. we're going to pop in the end phase so we get three Dragon. monsters on the field. Shell Rocket, Silver Rocket, Dragon. And then turn now turn we can I win. Draw, now, I because activate. we have Tracer here, we're going to go into our boot sector launch to get extra damage because we have some attacks up by 300. Now, Having Tracer on the field here, we can lethal him through uh, Octo Stretch because we can pop with Tracer. This. Also, I another thing to note is the monster you summon off Quick Launch cannot attack. attack. So be very careful. Oh, that. That's come up against us a few times. Now Tracer pop, and we you win. You are eliminated. Ah. So we got Cog with Goki. I mean, oh Goki, Rockets. Um, so. If you want to see more, make sure you follow me on Twitch. I'll leave the link in the description below. Also, I'm going to leave a few other YouTubes out there. JG's. They also have Twitches. Uh, JG, Stevens, Icy. You can rewatch their cock climbs. Uh, Steven is still finishing his. So, I'm guessing today. So, make sure everyone here on Twitch goes over there when he does it. And also make sure um, you... Uh, follow me on Twitch as well and subscribe to them on YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube as well uh, like comment subscribe we're pitching for a thousand subs we're only 400 away so subscribe 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 until next time tilt my try signing out peace